Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video. And we got Young Gala. How good was Larry Bird really? His 1K special. So I know this definitely got to be a good one. So I definitely got to see what Young Gala do with his video, man. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into the video, man. Y'all know I keep it short and sweet. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell. Let's get straight into the video, man. Instrumental mixtape is dropping June 23rd. And uh, yeah, that's about it, y'all. Appreciate y'all so much. But let's get straight into this video. I know is one game for my life. I want Larry Joe Bird taking my last shot. That guy from French Lick, Indiana, because he was the almost the baddest man. He was right there just a tick behind Michael Jeffrey Jordan when it came to clutch shooting. Game on the line, free throw, three, jump shot, whatever it was. I'll take Larry Bird. Anything. Larry Bird, one of the greatest small forwards in NBA history and arguably top 10 of all time. But how good actually Larry Bird was. But before we get straight into that, I wanna say thank you for the 1K, man. Yeah, this is about three years ago, so let's see what his video hitting for. And this is very unbelievable. We almost there to yo, shout out to y'all too, man. I know I'm working hard, but I'm also being humble about it. I'm not getting hype, I'm not, I'm just grinding, doing my thing, man. Something I love, but let's get it. To me because I woke up seeing 1,000 subscribers subscribe to YG and this is a very important milestone for me because now hitting 1k shows that I'm a up-and-coming youtuber so now since the road to 1k is officially over we're gonna set the bar high this time not road to 100k not road to 500k road to 1 mil and so what's up to all my supporters watching this vid and all my future supporters going to watch this vid let's build this yg nation so let's get to this video man what's good youtube it's your boy y g aka yungala and today i'm going to tell you how good actually larry bird was larry bird was drafted six overall in the 1978 draft and the first pick of that draft class was Clay Thompson's dad, Michael Thompson. And he was a good role player to have on the team. Damn, I didn't know that. But this was another mistake in Portland in drafting players. And I'm sure if Portland went back in time, they would have had drafted Larry Bird and other great players too, like Michael Jordan and Kevin Durant. But anyways, Larry Bird was a great scorer, passer, rebounder, defender, team player, and he was an amazing clutch performer. I mean, Larry Bird was so confident in himself that he would walk up to the opponent's bench before a tip-off and tell the team that I'm going to score 40 this game. And he was such a sniper on the court that he would sometimes practice three-pointers with his eyes closed. Larry Bird was basically the embodiment of the Celtics pride. He was a hardworking player and inspired teammates to excel. And Larry Bird became the only third player and the first non-center to win three consecutive MVPs. And he was a 12-time All-Star, a two-time NBA Finals MVP, and a nine-time member of All-NBA First Team. He also led the league in free throw percentage four times, so he was never missing from the line. That's why he was such an amazing clutch performer. Magic Johnson even said himself he feared no one on the court besides Larry Bird. And there were so many crazy stories about Larry Bird. One time when Kevin McHale scored 56 points to break the Boston scoring record in 1986, Larry Bird immediately predicted the record would fall by him. Less than two weeks later, Larry Bird went out and scored 60 versus Atlanta Hawks. And on a ray of shots, Larry Bird was so hot, he was calling his shots every time down the floor and taunting the helpless Hawks player trying to guard him. And he would say stuff like glass from the wing. Where do you want this one? And he basically had takeover the whole game. It got so bad, even the <laughs> He said he had takeover the whole game. <laughs> that was a good one. He had takeover the whole game. <laughs> the Atlanta Hawks players were going crazy on the bench. 
and supporting him scoring 60 points. Larry Bird was such a savage, he won a three-point contest in warm-up gear and told the people in the locker room before the contest which one of you guys is finishing second. To give a sense how good Larry Bird was, he finished fourth in MVP voting in his rookie year. In his rookie year. And helped this team go from a 29 and 53 record to a 61 and 21 record. He averaged 21 points per game, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1.7 steals on 48% shooting in his rookie year. Larry Bird one time got bored on a road trip in Portland and scored 27 points through three quarters shooting with his left hand. Larry Bird was just a trash talking legend. Larry Bird is a top three small forwards of all time and top 10 players of all time and paved the way for a lot of players in today's league. And Pat Riley once said, if I need a shot to win a game, I want Jordan. If I need a shot to save my life, give me Bird. So guys, tell me if y'all enjoyed this video. And make sure y'all like, share, subscribe if you want more bangers like this. And let's get to this road to one mil. And show love to the YG gang. And I'm out, bro. Yeah, shout out to YG, man. YG be definitely had some good videos. But yeah, man, it's just like, it's just so crazy. Like how just like, oh, wait, is there more? Hold on. All-Star game is in Dallas, the first three-point contest. And he just starts looking at guys, doesn't say a word, and, and people are getting kind of nervous. And then he finally speaks and says, I'm just, just looking to see who's going to finish second. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while, and we've always had run-ins, but uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. The last word. <laughs> oh my God, this is Surfing Bird by the Trashman. This is my favorite song of all time. Oh, well, a bird, bird, bird. The bird's a word. Oh, well, a bird, bird, bird. Well, a bird is a word. Oh, well, a bird. Bye, have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I like how you ended it. I got caught up. I'm like, hold on. Because then I looked at the time. I'm like, wait a minute, yo. There's still more left into this, John. I thought it was over. But anyway, man, that was a good way how he ended that video. Shout out to Young Gala, man. I already did some of his videos before. That's why I was just looking through, see what other stuff he had on Bird. But, uh... Yeah, man, that's that's about it, man. We're going to wrap it up here, man. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell. We uploading every single day. And I uh, deeply, deeply appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know we on the road to 1K, too. So we almost there, man. We almost there. But uh, anyway, man, out of this joint, man. Leave your comments down below. Uh, yeah, this is everything I learned about Larry. It's just crazy, man. It's just Everything I just, it's just like just always just shocking and just mind boggling and just be leave me speechless, bro. It's like it's crazy. And I didn't even know he could have went to Portland. That would have been crazy if he went away. And that's what I be thinking too. Like, what if he would have went to a different team, like not Boston? Like, how would he be? Like, like I wonder how he would be. You know, I know he probably might still be the same, but I wonder how he'd be if he has like certain different players and things like that. Like, I just wonder sometimes, you know. But anyway, man, I keep it short and sweet. I'm out of this joint. I'm on to the next video. I love y'all. Peace.